Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Hope you're having a great day. For this video, I thought I would just take some time real quick to answer a question that one of our viewers left on our Mario Run playlist. So Jeff Kaplan is my main, left us a comment saying, I can't add the script to the capsule. It says something about class not being found. First off, thank you so much to Jeff Kaplan is my main for leaving us this question in our comments. It means so much that you guys are willing to watch our videos and ask us questions because that means that we can respond and do an awesome video to show you exactly how to answer that question. I know we, we mean to do more of these videos answering your guys' comments with a video and that's something that we plan to do more of in the future. We're also probably going to start a series of error message debugging videos. So you'll have to stay tuned for that, but let's get to this question. To answer your question simply, this happens most of the time when your script name or the name of your script doesn't match the class name in your script. And let's go over to Unity and I'll show you how this works. So here we have our Mario Run project open in Unity and I'm gonna begin by showing you how to re replicate this error. So I'm gonna start by making sure that our scripts folder is selected in our project window. And then I'm going to create a new C sharp script by right clicking, going to create and then C sharp script. This creates a new C sharp script and you can see we have it right here. And we can also see that the title of our script is highlighted in blue. This gives us the opportunity to rename our script and to rename the class that will be inside our script. So I'm gonna rename this script to something like missing uh, class error. Now I'm not actually going to be using this script in our Mario Run game. This is just to demonstrate how to replicate this error. So I'm gonna now open the script in Visual Studios. I'm gonna reload all. So here you can see our new script in Visual Studios, and you can see that we have our class right here. We have this public class, and then missing class error is the name of our class. And you can see that this name matches the same name that we're using for our script. And you can see the name of our script up here in this tab. Now, if I were to change one of these, either the script name or the class name, then we would be getting this error whenever we try to attach the script to an object. So I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to change the name of our class to something like missing class error 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back to Unity. Once back in Unity, I'm going to click and drag our new script onto any of the objects in our hierarchy. And once I do that, we get this error window that pops up that says can't add script. And it says can't add script component missing class error because the script class cannot be found. Make sure that there is no compiler errors and that the file name and class name match. So right there in this error, it's telling us the solution to our problems. It's either a compiler error or that we don't have a matching file name and class name. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Let's go back to Visual Studios and let's change the name of our class back to missing class error without the number two on the end. Once I go ahead and hit save we can go back to unity so right there we can see that that is the most basic way to replicate this error now there are other ways to replicate this error if you had a compiler error in your script code then you would also not be able to add any scripts or that script with the error to the object so right there you can see that that is the easiest way to replicate this error. So if your script name does not match your class name, you're most likely going to get this error. There are other ways to get this error if you have any compiler errors, just as that message said. It said if you have any compiler errors or if the file name of your script does not match your class name, then you're going to get this error. But this is the most basic way to get this error. 
is if your script name does not match your class name. And so if you're getting this error, that's the number one thing that you should check to make sure that those things match. And I'm going to real quick demonstrate a, a scenario in which you would end up having this error and might not realize it. So I'm going to start by removing our missing class error script from our object. That way I just don't forget it. And then I'm going to actually delete it from our project window. Now to demonstrate this scenario, let's say we want to create a new C Sharp script. And so I right click on our project window, I go to create C Sharp script, and I create a new script. And this script has a name which is new behavior script. Now sometimes I even do this, I'll have the script unselected. I'll, I'll like click somewhere in Unity before renaming the script. So right there I deselected our new script without renaming it and it created a new script for us. Now if I open this script in Visual Studios you can see that it has the name for the class as new behavior script. Now what will happen is people will deselect their script and then they'll go oh shoot I need to rename my script. So they'll just click on the script once and then they'll be able to rename it or they'll right click and say rename and then they'll give it a name and so we can say something like missing class script and then they'll hit enter and they'll and then they'll open it in Visual Studios. And once they open it in Visual Studios you can see that the name of our script has not changed. So it actually, for some reason, it created two scripts. We have our new behavior script. I can remove that. That was just a, a duplicate. But we have our missing class script name here in the tab, but the name of our class is still new behavior script. And so if that ever happens to you where you deselect your script before renaming it, you need to make sure that if you were to rename it, you also rename the, the class of your script. So if I go back to Unity and then I try to drag this script on to an object, you can see, there we go, we get the error again. And so we need to go back to Unit, uh, Visual Studios and just rename this class to missing class script. And once I do that, I can go ahead and save it, go back to Unity, and now when I select our missing class script and drag it onto an object, you can see it's attached now here in the inspector. So right there you have it. We showed you how to replicate this error by creating a script and making the file name of your script not match the class name. That's the number one reason for this to happen. And it's really easy to fix. You just change the class name or the script name so that they both match. Now, thank you so much again to Jeff Kaplan is my main for leaving us this comment. We hope this was helpful and we hope that it was the answer that you were looking for. If any of you have any other questions that you need answered, make sure that you leave us a comment in any of the videos and we'll try our best to answer it either with a comment or if you're lucky enough, we'll put out a video. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.